is the chicken coop that we built on a video here on the uh, Austin's chicken coop. We built on a video here on the uh, channel. Uh, me and a, a couple of kids that we had come in and help us and stuff. It was kind of fun. But uh, the run, unfortunately, this winter did not survive. Uh, the gate got squished first and then the uh, ice built up on the wire so much and the wind was blowing and it just blew it down pretty much. I actually pulled these stakes up earlier because I was laying out for these little posts here because that's where the new run's going to be. And it's going to be much bigger. We're building a 32 foot by 32 foot run around the chicken coop. So the coop will be inside of it and then they can go in, open it up, and uh, the chickens can come out and they'll be in the run. And then I can actually do the landscaping that I need to do around the property uh, without having the grass seed eaten by the chickens, <laughs> which has been an ongoing issue. So anyway, stick with me here, folks. We're going to uh, get out the auger and start digging holes. And then we have a trailer full of materials to start planting posts. Uh, this may be a day or two video, but hey, you know, here we go. All right, let's do it.
set to six foot and then uh, I will string line, get them cut at six foot and then I'll string line the whole outside perimeter of the top and mark each one of my posts. And I'm probably not going to talk a whole lot more because I'm losing my voice but uh, anyway after I get those done I'll put the two by fours on and then we'll start putting, doing chicken wire and add a gate in at the very end. So anyway let's get to it.
So now I've got the top rail all on. Uh, I just picked the shortest corner, which was actually about an eighth of an inch under six foot, and then cut the rest of them at the same height. Ran the string around it, marked all the center poles, three on each side, and cut them off. This one was actually under the string, so by an inch. No biggie, just raise the rail above it. The wire goes on the outside anyway, so no big deal. So, yep, we're all the way around it. Now I gotta take all this apart too. <laughs> the old chicken pens gotta go. So anyway, alright guys, when we come back, we're putting wire on.
Dot's not too keen on the uh, on the uh, uh, chicken coop because uh, she's used to running around. So she's not wanting to hang out in here, but that's where she's gonna go. She's also the only one that's been able to fly out of a six foot pen, so this probably won't hold her. <laughs> okay. So there you go, guys. Got a new chicken run. Nice big one. So I do a little bit of cleanup in there, uh, get the rest of the uh, old run disassembled, put away. And uh, yeah, so I got from here to about the same place on the back with one piece of wire and then my roll that I had that I actually originally put this wire up with went around there and didn't quite close it off. I had about 12 foot so we took some uh, 4 foot wire and kind of ran a piece on the bottom and a piece on the top and filled it in and just uh, tied it all together so that's all set. Uh, pardon the wind, I'm hoping you can hear me. We'll see when I do the edit I guess. And I Apologize for it taking so long to get another video. Uh, things have been a little hectic around here. Uh, the uh, one, the one of the mothers, her uh, uh, mother passed away, so we've been dealing with that. We've been at Tom's house, etc. So, been helping out there, and, and uh, I've been busy on the tractor. I've got quite a few implements now. Um, try to do a video about that uh, before long. Uh, going to be doing some work with the tractor now. The chickens are going to be closed in because I'll be able to put down grass seed without it disappearing. So that'll be good. And uh, still working on the tiny house. Uh, haven't done a lot of videoing of what I've been doing, but I will do a like a catch-up video and let you know where I'm at there. So anyway, until next time, have a good one.